Hello, this is Mega Retro Rocket, and today I'm going to show you how to make plastic bag rope. Yeah, it's pretty strong, durable. It'll hold up a person's weight, just one of these braids, at least a normal person, me. All right, it's a really simple braid that I'm going to show you here today. Uh, you could probably implement any roping strategy, really. I'm uh, toying with some other strand ideas for lead rope and things like that. But just the basics to get started. You have your bag of rope or a bunch of bags right there. Just simple grocery bags. The ones with the handles work the best. You can use others as well, but these just I found work the best. All right, so all you really need to do, take your bag, go to the side here, and right underneath the handle there, sometimes there's a point that protrudes up like that. Just snap it with a little wrist action there and tear it all the way down the sides until you reach the seam at the end. Yep, there will be a seam in the bag right there where it is, even if you can't see it. Sometimes you get lucky, and I don't, like you can see here, there's actual ridge there where the seam is. So try and break that as even as you can. If it's not, it's no big deal. It all winds up together in the end. So then you have this tank top without a bottom. So then hold the handles together, and pinch the bottom together and you have a ring. And that's your basic element. And what I like to do is put a little twist in it just so that it gets a little more compact. And make, turn all your bags into this. If you don't have handles, it's really no big deal. All you really need to do is, uh, instead of tearing down the sides, you take the top part as open and then make a slit across the bottom to tear it to make a different type of loop from the top and bottom rather than to side to side. Yeah. But otherwise, you still get the same result like that. And keep doing that with all your bags. And, uh, you know, whatever mindless pastime you want to employ, if you want to watch television, watch movies, whatever. Talk with friends. If you uh, do this as a group, it's, it makes it like, go a lot faster. Just something to do. Okay, make a bunch of those. I'm going to do three just to start off with here. I have some others prepared to show you what you do next. But yeah, tear down the sides just like that. Get really quick at this. Okay, and after you have a fair amount accumulated, you want to make them into what I call strands. Now a strand is just a bunch of these looped together. So you take these. First one's pretty easy. So you lay them on top of each other and Take from underneath, grab the one on top, and from on the top, grab the one that's underneath, and pull straight through. See that? Really easy, just a loop knot, or whatever it's called. Okay? And this is how you make a strand. Take the second one, and the fastest way i found is to just take the big one, or take the next one on the strand, loop it over your existing one, and then grab right here, right there and pull it through. Makes it really fast. Now make these strands, I don't like to do it any longer than five bags long, four or five, five or six, because when you go to braid them, they'll get all tangled up behind you since the rope will try and braid backwards behind you as you, as you move along. But um, yeah, so make several of those and I have some prepared back here. So these are three. This is three strands, that one wasn't done very well, of five. Then what you do is you take the ends of those three strands, and what I like to do is stagger them a little bit, and I'll show you why after I tie this. So you have those three staggered just a little bit, and then twist to tighten them up right at the end here, and then tie a little knot. Make sure you get all three ends uh, into this knot, otherwise, you know, one could slide out. So have all three in there. One, two, three. Yep. And pull it tight. That's the beginning of your rope. Now, the reason why I stagger it, you can see in this rope, when you finish braiding, you will have these knots where, uh, oh, my light just went up. You will have these knots where two bags connect like right here. And if you have them going straight and the bags are all roughly the same size, they aren't. This will happen anyway. But this will become really 
unmanageably large. Um, I don't have any in this one. This is done pretty well. But yeah, it becomes a big old knot and it'll be really uncomfortable if you're trying to use it for anything. Um, like I'm used turning these into hammocks and they'd be really uncomfortable to sit on. Anyway, so once you have this, it's just simple three part braiding like anything else, like hair or whatever. Um, I use, like to use a doorknob usually for this, but if you don't, just use your foot and away you go. Just make sure that you have the three, I mean, three strands separate. At times you'll have six pieces of bag. Those are the two sides of each bag, but keep those together. Otherwise it'll make a huge mess of things. Just, yep, one or the other, then the other, then the other. Um, maybe it's as tight as loose as they want. The bags or the rope will stretch out when you're done. Um, probably about 20 to 30 percent will stretch um, before it kind of stabilizes. So it's maybe a little bit unnerving if you're trying to uh, if trying to hold yourself up and it starts to give. Don't worry, it will support you. It's just you know just settling in, and um, you can do. Now I'll keep going. You notice right here, this is becoming a big tangle where it's basically trying to do the same weave but in reverse behind you. So maybe every three or four tugs, I like to say one, two, three, then pull that strand through and then keep going. Two, three, pull that through. You only need to pull one strand all the way through to clear up whatever madness you have behind you. So. And then just continue on like that. If you're uh, starting to pull to the braid towards you too much and you need some more room, just take this and either loop it around the doorway or whatever you have it looped on or around your foot again and there you go, you have some more extra room. Once you get near the end, you don't even have to pull the strands all the way through. You can just weave it as normal and they'll work themselves out behind you. Now, plastic bags provide a lot of friction on each other. I think it may also be some electricity that builds up when you rub them against each other because you'll see they don't really fray that much if you just let it go. I would still recommend tying off your ropes if you want you know, a break uh, to give your hands a rest, your fingers a rest, or just to wash up or something. Um, but yeah, just no worries if you just leave it on the couch or something. All right, and now we got to the end of our strands. That is pretty good. That means these bags are relatively the same size. All the bags will be slightly different, so don't be worried if after a while these stagger quite a bit. Um, yeah, so then you have the end here. And what you do at the end is, if that's how long you want your rope, if that's how long you want your rope, that's fine. But if you want it longer, all you have to do is take another one of your chains here, pull it through, then reach through that loop to grab the rest of it. Pull it all the way through and pull it tight, and you're well on your way. When you're at the end, just uh, pull a regular, you know, loop knot like you did at the beginning, and you'll be all set. And that's plastic bag rope. Uh, stay tuned next time for more upcycling projects like this. You can also look for more project ideas on my Facebook page, westernwashingtonupcycling.com. I'll have a link down below. All right, hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, leave a comment.